Okay, vocabulary. So uh, on the vocabulary section, really we have two types of questions, right? One is uh, context questions, right? Where you may not know the word they're asking you about, but you're supposed to be able to figure it out based on context. And so we'll look at this example here in a second. And then we also have a bunch of uh, root words where like a lot of times they'll ask of like some very, very specific type of profession, which in many cases you won't be familiar with. Um, but if you know what the root word is, you could kind of make a guess at, you know, what basic type of work they do. And so we'll go through a bunch of those also. Okay, so our uh, sentence for evaluating context says, well, she was usually very compliant and docile. On this particular issue, Sarah was obstinate. Okay, and so, uh, like if they're asking you for obstinate. So if you already know what the word means, great, but there's a pretty good chance you're gonna get a bunch of questions like this, in which case you don't know the word. All right, and so the way that you would go about figuring it out would be, All right, so we're saying that usually Sarah is very compliant and docile, and there's also probably a chance that you don't know what docile means. All right, some people will, some won't. Um, but everybody, I think, knows what the word compliant means. Okay, and so we're saying that usually she's compliant, but on this case, she's obstinate. Okay, and so we can, based on just what we know right there, know that obstinate almost for sure means something that's similar to the opposite of compliant, right? And so what words would be like opposite of compliant? Most likely, once you look at your answer choices, there's really only going to be one, right? But probably some word similar to stubborn or non-conforming, something like that, All right? So that's really how you go about trying to uh, answer such a question. Okay, and back to text mode. Get rid of that thing so it's not in our way. Okay, so these are really, what do we have here, eight of them? These are the eight most common ones. And so what you really need to do is you're gonna wanna go through the process of memorizing really these specific eight root words. So we'll go through each of them. So nephro means kidney, right? Cutane, skin. Hema, blood. So we'll go through what type of question that you're likely to see here once we just finish entering all these. Pullman, lungs, branch, also lungs. Uh, we got eyelid, glasses, veins, cardia yeah, is probably the one that everybody knows. It's heart. Okay, so. The question usually is going to be much more like getting you to try to figure out what does a nephrologist do, right? And so there's a good chance you haven't heard of that term that much, right? Um, but if you know that nephro means kidney, then you know that a nephrologist must work on kidneys, right? And that's all they're looking for, right? Is that you were able to deconstruct the word uh, and they're not going to ask anything more specific than that. They just want to know that from a vocabulary standpoint, you could figure out that you knew that nephro meant kidney. And so then you're good to go. So here's another one. It's fairly common. Hematologist, right? So the exact, all of the details of what a hematologist does is not important for this exam, right? But knowing that hema means blood and that a hematologist somehow works in blood is really going to be the key part that they want you to know. And so these are the root words you really want to make sure that you're familiar with as you go into this exam. You do that, you're going to be in a good uh, good position for all the vocabulary questions, right? And then also just taking your time with the sentences, right, where we're doing context so that you can just deconstruct the sentence and have a really good guess of what the answer is.